Hello, wonderful met people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Day, happy Sunday, and a happy Ole Market Day. It shall be well with us today. And Ole, we did try for ma. Ole, because we think I hear it. Come on, get ready, get ready. If I na yoko no, Ole, shall be no go away. I go, I go, I go, I go. I got the glow gun. Don't worry, I am not on my own. Oma yo toko in return for na nyinka ode no fo and ya wo of yo of for eh eh ezi no no bana na go ni so mo ha and omo mo fa as more ya the work in madre wan yin ma o ga drive man e keno re na fana nko aya na no obochi na nu ihe ma ye mere anyi mo pu na mbata anyi ga we for me for my bona kan ni na ke kwa ye gbute for my iru na azu e for my kan ga na egbute ai bona east west north and south e for my kan ga na egbute because anya mara nwoke ma mara nwanyi mma no obochi nke tata tata bu sunday o and it happens to be the 11th day in the month of august in the year of 2024 abeg let us go to the reason why we are here there's no time for frivolities remember i want to make this clear to each and every one of us that uh, the northerners have joined voice now to call for the for this integration of Nigeria. When I mean not an ass, I mean the real houses now they have woken up from their sleeping slumber after how many decades? Mm? After how many decades of being slavery in their own land, in the hands of the foreigners, they, they accepted as brothers simply because they are Muslims. Simply because out of sympathy and pity, they accepted people who turn their who who turn to be a thorn in their flesh. Turn to be a thorn. It is a it is a two different world. You understand? So my people, let us go to the reason why we are here. Just take this thing to the bank. That the house has the real house has are now calling for this integration of Nigeria, and that is uh, the new good news uh, I have for my people this Sunday morning. Self determination. Northern protesters should demand for referendum, not military takeover, to end bad governance. In another development. Yoruba duplicity. Only a good turn deserves another. Mm -hmm. Let us go to the reason why we are here. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to Okute Daily Talk for more interesting videos. Catch ya later. We are reading the news at this moment. The ongoing nationwide protest which ended yesterday in Nigeria has taken turn into a concerning dimension. We are some protesters in the north. We are seen calling for the military to take over power. Raising and waving the Russian flags at the same time, burning the Nigerian flags. This has raised concerns amongst local and international observers. The protests in northern Nigeria, especially in Kano and Kaduna, has alerted the deep provisions and accumulated frustrations existing within the region while some northern protesters are calling for the nigerian military to intervene and take over power from the tunumbus led government in abuja there is tensions within the hierarchies of uh, the fulani government to stop the protest however this is not the right approach instead northern protesters should start demanding their right to self-determination and a referendum on total independence, essentially the establishment of Arewa Islamic Republic or whatever name they deem fit to call it. The northern youth population of whom the, uh, the hardship stemming from uh, Bola Me Tunumbu's well subsidy removal and other poor economic policies took the most toll on have since August 1 taken to the streets expressing their frustrations and grievances. Grievances include the high cost of living, insecurity, inflation, and religious and ethnic tensions. Meanwhile, protests erupted across the country over issues like bad governance, corruption, insecurity, poor economic conditions, and gross dissatisfaction with the presidency of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. However, rather than calling for a military takeover, northern protesters should focus their efforts on securing their democratic right to self-determination. This could take uh, the form of a referendum where Northerners can vote on what, whether to form an uh, independent state, maintain the current uh, Fulani structure with more regional autonomy, or seek other political arrangements. More so, 
History has shown that military coups really solved the underlying political and social problems that were unrest. In fact, military dictatorship often exacerbates tensions and human rights abuses. A Nigerian military with lots of human rights abuses will be a nightmare to ordinary people. The path to lasting peace and stability must come through democratic means that give a voice to the diverse regions and ethnic ethnicities in Zojuria. Calling for military intervention also sets a dangerous uh, president, president that uh, could undermine the relative security owing to the terrorist infiltration into the Nigerian military, uh, Nigerian military hierarchies. At this point, the Nigerian military is not a sense of guiltless of corruption and bad leadership. The current realities in the country show they are not a suitable option to ending bad governance either so it is dead on arrival. A such attempt could embolden other ethnic factions into staging counter coups within the same military, thereby promote violence and instability. Instead, the Northern protesters should focus their energy on advocating for for plebiscite, uh, a democratic process that allows the people of a religion to decide their own political future. This could take the form of a referendum or independence or increased autonomy, giving various ethnic groups not a direct say in shaping their destiny going forward. Self-determination is a fundamental human right recognized under the international laws. The African Charter on People's Rights also affirms the right of indigenous peoples to self-determination. By pursuing this path, Northern Nigerians could chart a course that is both to self-determination. By pursuing this path, Northern Nigerians could chart a course, according to them, uh, is both legitimate and sustainable rather than relying on the unpredictable and often destabilizing actions of the military era. Furthermore, a referendum would provide an opportunity for an open and transparent dialogue on the challenges facing the North and potential solutions. This will help build consensus, address grievances, and ultimately lead to a more suitable and equitable arrangement for all ethnic groups in the north why the current situation in nigeria is undoubtedly there a military takeover it is not close to the solution the northern protesters should as a matter of necessity join ipop led by mazin namdekano and simon epa and direct their efforts towards securing the democratic right to self-determination through a referendum this will be a more principled and constructive approach to resolving the region's pressing issues and grievances as well as ending bad governments entirely. From the family, Writers Press International, this is where this news came from. Moving forward, Yoruba duplicity, only good turn deserves another, according to the writer. It is already publicly known that the thoughts between the Yorubas and their apparently SY lovers, the North and their elites, has blown up uh, disproportionately, disproportionately, especially within these past few days of hashtag and bad government protests aimed against the Tunumbu's administration over the worsening economic hardship which skyrocketed under his watch and rule. Nevertheless, while the rift between these two aforementioned parties are in a public spaces, what is there, however, hiding in plain sight is that this so-called end hunger protest championed basically by the north has a sinister political undertone which is ultimate goal are uh, nothing short of the eviction of overthrow obola Ahmed tunumbu either by hook or by crook out of the corridor of power because of economic policies or economic indices that plunge the country into hunger the wiping of hunger, poverty, and hardship sentiments to a technotic, uh, uh, techno, uh, te 
Nautic um, drift of calling for a military takeover and intervention of Russia as with the Conf uh, Confederate States of Alliance of Sahel States. In these past few months and years, all are geared ultimately to one end, displacing Tunumbu at all costs. It is, however, important to state there is a likelihood that the Russians may not be interested in supporting a military takeover. In Nigeria, as of then in the AES, the domestic, political, and also geopolitical uh, realities of Nigeria and the countries of the AES care not same. Hence, methodology and attitude to work are most likely not applicable. This is not uh, uh, this is not uh, to say that the Russian do not have interest in Nigeria or more broadly the West African sub Gulf region to protect. But the wiping of these Russian uh, buggy men sentiments are projections which are designed to serve the interests of the northern elites and stakeholders who are still in essence pro Anglo Saxons for a prospective military takeover. Yoruba has, on the other hand, made the French their shield and protectors in this confrontation. Bola Tunumbu blackmailed his way into the seat of power. One must not forget the famous Emiloko uh, uh, catchphrase, meaning, it is my turn to rule. The North were forced to capitulate into not holding onto power after the eight years of Muhammad Buhari's regime. Something they loathe immensely and the aggravation went up when it appeared that Bola Tunumbu appears to be challenging the hegemon in the core state of affairs in Nigeria. Furthermore, he, President Bola Tunumbu, destroyed any existing bridge or sense of uh, camaraderie between the South and this was firstly to win the favor of the North before the elections and secondly to allocate and keep the benefits or dividends of whatever is achieved from the seat of power and governance only to his circle by extension his people the Yorubas, or you can call them the lagos boys the present fracas is as a result of the duplicity of the Yorubas to have betrayed not only the southerners who are in pre-election era believed in the culmination of southern interests against an oppressive Fulani led North, but also the North, whom they went into an alliance with and turned around to fly the terms of vicious agreements which they knew from the onset was not in the interest of the South nor its people regardless of region or ethnicity. Today, the chicken has come home to roast. The, amb the ambivalence and silence of the southeast and south south combined in this total between the Yorubas and the north cannot be more louder. Why the Turumbu's administration is beginning to consider the approachment over its hostile policies against the collective east or even attempting to isolate and woe the south south zone into its arm as a bargaining chief against the north abandoning the southeast the move is collapsing like a pack of cards the wounds inflicted by mr tunumbu himself in 2015 against good Lord jonathan's administration who is from the south south region are being reopened how far the robots are determined to go to hold on to power is left to be seen in the nearest future alas and unarguably the most viable card to play is to facilitate the dissolution of Nigeria if they are not allowed to continue their tenure and whether the northern political elites alongside their western anglo so anglophone or anglo sophone allies with it, will let them do that is also a tale which only the future can tell <laughs> cartels war whatever happens the east must collectively stand to capitalize and proactively defend themselves against any aggressions that might ensue at the two parties tussle for power and control rage on the reputation of 1960s pogroms 
must not be allowed to repeat itself in this generation. For the sake of the survival, advancement, and progression of their various ethnic nations entrapped in Nigeria, the contraction must be renegotiated and eventually dissolved on a peaceful time via a referendum. Let that sink in, especially in the minds of the stakeholders, foreign and local, for lives to be saved. This must be considered and applied. His message also came from Family Writers Press International. Not me, nor you, nor even the zoo write this message, but from international community or international community observers that then bring us this Obonga news. So my people, now here we go take back break. Happy Sunday once again to you all. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Siri Man, Amandi Anna Eze, reporting from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. I'll be right back. Just use this one to do early morning Sunday press-up. Okay,